Good morning, good morning. What's up? Coming with a really, really awesome message today that I knew for a long time, but I forgot to, to tell you guys about. But fortunately, life reminds me what to make videos about many times. So I, I get my videos idea, my video ideas, about three out of five I get from uh, clients I work with. One out of five I get from uh, kind of randomly, you know, my, what happens in uh, my day to day. And another one I get from life, you know, things that just happen in life for me. Moment. Cool. So yeah, as you can see, I'm excited. I'd even wait to set up everything. I just started making the video. Now, why is that? Because life reminded me of a very important lesson today called the more consistent you are, the luckier you get. As you know, I talked about this ad nauseum by now that the more uh, consistent you are, uh, the better. Consistency is the number one factor that will determine whether you'll be successful or not. And it's actually mandatory because you cannot be uh, successful without being consistent. Uh, what does that mean? If you have any sort of success but you're not consistent, well, when you stop putting in the efforts that created that success in the first place, meaning the efforts that created the growth you know i mean let's say i work out workout makes my body grow or maybe we're talking about business well marketing efforts help the business grow when you stop the marketing efforts maybe the growth will continue out of the sheer momentum but it will at one point slow down and success will recede and fail eventually go back it's called flat out it will go back to zero now, where does this get interesting? I tend not to focus on luck. And the reason I tend not to focus on luck is because I can't control luck directly. You can control like luck indirectly though. What do I mean? The more consistent you are, the luckier you get. It's better to do something in an okay manner, but do it seven times a week then do something really, really well, but do it only once or twice. It doesn't matter if you're talking about working out, marketing, anything of that sort, because consistency will guarantee, first of all, improvement. And secondly, the higher your consistency is, the more times you do something, the luckier you tend to get. Let's say that you suck with women and you decide to approach uh, 50 girls in one day, once a week. Now, what would probably happen is you just get rejected a lot. Maybe towards the end you'll have like one or two good approaches and that's it. But let's say that instead of 50 every day or even 100 every day, you decide to do 15 every week. Now, in terms of sheer numbers, it's not that different. That different. 15 versus 15 a week basically means that you're doing something around, um, let's say it's times five, around 150, 115 or 110 um, daily, uh, weekly approaches rather than, fit, rather than let's say 100 in one day. But the sheer act of doing it every single day it will make you focus on so many different things. For example, you'll become much better at kind of warming up fast. Uh, you'll feel very natural doing it. It won't be like this thing that you have to do. Once in a while, it will be like a daily routine. You'll find yourself doing it outside of the daily habits. And also, the more times you go for it, the more likely you are to get lucky. So you'll find, the more lucky you are to find that right girl and it also goes for marketing, for example. If you make a video every day rather than once a week, there's a much higher likelihood that you'll hit a jackpot. You'll, you'll hit a video that just goes viral or just gets a shitload of attention. 
And even though, you know, maybe there's the guy who does one video a week and works really hard at it, more often than not, you know, you're not that talented yet where you can afford to take one week in between videos. Now, where did this factor come into play um, in my life? Again, I know that everything I'll be consistent in, I'm going to get uh, steady growth, slow, steady growth, uh, which is dependable. For example, my channel growing slowly but surely. I mean, no, the, the fast, you know, it's growing faster and faster. But you know, it's not like bam up. It's like it's it's steady. It's steady up. And I know that every every I, I do that in, you know, be consistent. I'm also going to get surges. Surges meaning like a jump. Um, if it's fitness, you know, I might suddenly hire a personal trainer. I might find the perfect gym routine. I might get a tip from a coach of mine tell me, hey, uh, do do this like that, uh, which is something that happened to me, actually. And, um, and suddenly, bam, like my results explode. This happened to me in fitness where uh, a student, past student of mine who's a fitness trainer told me about something I could do different in my workouts. And let me know if you want to know, I could explain to you. And the moment I changed that, you know, I was already working out once a day. And the moment I changed that, bam, like I suddenly got, I think I improved my results like three times faster. Uh, just started gaining mass super, super fast. Uh, not mass, but, but, but strength, which is more important for me than mass because mass is, um, it's like the secondary thing. I focus more on just strength. So um, recently, and when I say recently, I mean yesterday, it happened to me uh, actually during a really, really, really bad day that I had. And, you know, I made a video called it, I think I called it like, life just sucks sometimes. And, you know, it was a really horrible day. And not, not the day, but really bad shit happened. You know, how things kind of bother you and then they build up and build up and eventually like they bam, like, you kind of really have to deal with them. So that's what happened. And it was related to money, to finances. And I'm not saying obviously that, you know, I'm not like these guys who are like, hey, I'm broke or something, you know, making very good money. But, um, you know, everybody has their own financial issues. So, you know, it's not that I don't have uh, financial issues. Everybody has financial issues. It's just that I chose to have financial issues in you know the six-figure area, uh, well, most people have financial issues in the four-figure area. So it, I got really lucky yesterday, and I say this, you know, fully intending the war, the word. It's not, it's not me. It's not scale. Luck. You know, it, just like you, you can say, okay, my consistent growth is because of me you have to say the luck is not because of me because if you believe that the luck is because of you that leads to you getting complacent again trust me from experience so i got really lucky i had a really good day really good day seven thousand dollar day good day <laughs> um so yeah pretty much bam like you know things that you thought would take um probably a couple of weeks to solve uh, bam just disappeared overnight and um, you know you get lucky like that come on where's the bank <laughs> looking for my uh, new I opened a new bank account so I'm looking for the branch um, anyway yeah the the more you stay consistent you know even if everything is horrible, like let's say you have bad financials and you, you're you building your business, you know, you decided not to, not, not to fall into that trap of, oh, you know, get a job, get a job and actually work on something that maybe makes even half as much or a third and you're just developing it and it's growing. Again, it's consistently growing, even if it's slowly growing, but it's growing and it's putting a shitload of pressure on you and you're suffering and it's so fucking hard you're you're you don't even know what to do with yourself 
you're doubting yourself everybody's telling you to, to, to do something else because it's not growing fast enough you need to stick in there stick in there because what you fail to see is that eventually you'll get lucky eventually that slow growth is going to get a surge up and you won't find a single company in the world that has not had surges like this you won't find a single successful person that did not get lucky at least one or two times during his life so it's your responsibility to stay consistent and keep growing even though it doesn't look like it's the right decision because you need to trust in luck but this is luck that you create this is luck that comes as a result of you being consistent so if you have anything in your life that's similar to what I'm describing again you get pressure down you know don't be consistent don't be consistent you know go do something that doesn't grow then you have to focus on creating something for yourself that you love that rewards you that does grow again a job most jobs of course not all jobs some jobs you know 80% of millionaires self-made millionaires are um, employed by somebody else they don't even have a business so you know <laughs> if you're smart you should get a job every a good job but if you're like me and you have the entrepreneur thing where you can't not you can't get a job you just have to do your own thing you have to create the world in your image well in that case you again you have to find something that is uh, one that answers all three qualities so it has to be something that you love something that rewards you meaning you get returns from it even small but in something that grows because if it answers all three you just stick at it long enough it's gonna be massive it's gonna be amazing but it's gonna require the consistency uh, it's gonna require the patience for the steady growth being urgent about the actions not the results being patient about the results and also believing and having faith in luck knowing that you're gonna get lucky eventually but not counting on it and still taking the massive action as if you're not going to get lucky so i hope this video helps you a lot i hope it makes a ton of sense again don't don't spend time in anything that does not produce growth every single thing i do in my life is something that the more i do it the better it gets you know if you have something that where you find yourself what what you call wasting your time on quit it immediately because it's a waste of time because whenever you're going to get to the next thing that you actually want to do you're gonna to have to start from scratch anyway and you're gonna to have to build it up so it's better to start right now and have a, a lot less again even if you're under pressure because let's say you have a business again and you're growing it slowly maybe for the first year even you're gonna struggle but once you reach a certain point you're just gonna fly past what you currently have and then you're gonna keep going exponentially so do you rather have uh, two thousand dollars every single month uh, for you know forever or do you rather have let's say $500 or even $1,000 for a year and then that thousand you know starting at zero going up to 2000 and then at the end of the year like you make you know a zero next month you make uh, 100 next month you make 150 next month you make 200 next month 400 then five six seven eight up to you know a thousand maybe two thousand and then from that point on you only make more and more and more and it's exponential so now it's like two thousand two thousand five hundred Next month is next month is like four thousand, and that's how it keeps growing. That's called exponential growth. That's what you can expect from an online business if you are growing it consistently, and that's why it's worth it. It's worth to get a pay cut and suffer and and have the stress uh, if you if you if that's what it takes to be consistent. Make sense? I hope it does. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions about that. I'd love to help you. As you know, I do coaching, so book a free coaching call with me. Just contact me. I'd love to help you. And please like and subscribe because I have a ton more awesome content, five videos every single day. You'll love it.